Hi, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to my support hour. I hope all of you can actually hear me. I am going to start this session in the next few seconds. Let me just check if everybody's here. Okay. We'll start with the testing of the equipment. Uh, just a second. Arpita, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you. So Hello? If, yeah, I just wanted, I was just checking my system. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So let's go with uh, Trichy office first. And Dr. Stanley, I'm going to unmute you now. So, Dr. Stanley, how are you? Dr. Stanley, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I'm able to hear you. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm doing fine. Great. So, I think the software is quite good. It's, it's, it's very easy to use. We can actually connect uh, very easily on this one. Please tell me, what's the question for today, this week? Uh, sir, uh, another question with regard to the eligibility uh, of students joining PG programs, sir. Okay. See, uh, when we go through the brochure and the search engine, yeah. Uh, for any program, no, the basic requirement is mentioned beneath. Okay. For example, no, for MBA, we, we say uh, a bachelor's degree from any relevant field. The word is mentioned like that, relevant field. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, certain things also like ge geology, uh, uh, certain s specific departments. You no, know, students come from the same stream and join join the PG program, sir. Okay. But uh, but certain fields, you no, know, like logistics, MBA, uh, we take students from other streams also, like computer science. They come and join also. Okay. The question is that if we can mention uh, well, even in the search engine or uh, uh, in the brochure of the sort, no? Okay. Which exactly the guy has to come to join the PG program in the particular stream? Okay. Because I, I, I had a I had a case, sir, uh, a student who came for an MBA program. Okay. He came from BSc computer science background, BCA background. Okay. He was given an admission letter from Latvia. Okay. From RTU. Okay. Uh, uh, after, then later, no, they said he's not eligible to join an MBA. Okay. Then we moved him to uh, some other program, no, logistics and supply chain. Okay. Him. Okay. But basically, you know, uh, looking at his profile, no, we we got a mail that he's eligible to join this program. We got a response. Okay. My question is that, no, sir, uh, for the first time when we are giving a response to the student. Yeah. If he can. Very simple and clear. He is not eligible, or he is eligible for this program. Okay. We will avoid further confusion. We will not let him down by saying you are not eligible later. I got your point, uh, Dr. Sandy. You mean to say that we should give a very cut and clear guideline on the admission requirement, right? That whether the student yes. can go for the example, saying that this this MBA program, it should be written that student should only have a business background or a technical background, which means that you are saying that we should be more precise in writing our uh, admission requirement when it comes to the program. Point taken, I, the IT manager is listening to the conversation as well. I'm sure um, we, uh, we will, uh, she will uh, make sure that you know, in, in future, uh, we have a new system coming up any which ways, you know, uh, in a month's time, we will try our best to, you know, make sure that all the requirements which we put in, it's very, very important. You know, I always tell my team, it's very important that the software should be maintained properly. You know, it has to be as precise as possible, but point has been uh, uh, taken and I'm definitely, you know, um, going to ask her as well, you know, to make sure that every single university, when we write down something, we should be writing it in very clearly that this particular program student can only go if they have, you know, business background or a cross background is eligible or not. So, or we can, we kind of uh, make a one liner thing, you know, that student should have um, any background or a similar background, you know, I got, I got a point, you know, so we'll, um, Definitely, we'll, uh, we'll try to make sure that I'm, I'm sure she will understand. Uh, she, uh, so, uh, Arvinder, if you listen to the conversation, can you please take the notes and then come back to me and we'll come to a conclusion how we can actually make it uh, work. Uh, plus, um, Dr. Stanley, this means that um, this is one thing, but then when, one more thing is there. When we will do the university uh, um, 
uh, trainings, you know, let's say if we say, because we're going to start doing a lot of sessions now, you know, on university. So let's say RTU session we're going to do. Uh, we're going to do not very long one, you know, half an hour sessions on university. So my plan is to actually go live, more live, you know, and uh, work with the sale point of view. So my suggestion is that when I'll be doing this kind of a, uh, sessions, try to make sure that as many as people in your office can listen to it because first-hand information. So example, RTU, when I'm going to do a session, I am going to talk about RTU and the program requirement. And in that requirement, I will definitely speak about that uh, uh, the student, uh, which is admission requirement, but definitely you're right. Uh, for the uh, for the day-to-day -day business point of view, the software has to be more uh, correct. You know, I understand. So we'll we'll definitely work on this, and I'm sure. Uh, please give me a feedback in a uh, in next month, and tell me uh, uh, if my team has actually taken the point, and are they actually fixing the problem? You know, and uh, um, um, if they if they actually uh, start writing on the so all the new entry we will do. We'll try to make sure that we are very precise, and on the old entry also, we'll start working on them as well. Fine. Uh, uh, so second thing, sir. Yes, please. Question number two, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Tell me. A student, has, a student has received his visa. Yes. Yesterday. Yeah. He has received his visa. The hard copy hasn't reached us. Yeah. The information has to us the visa is ready in uh, Delhi office. It is in transit right now. Okay. But there is an information following uh, the visa has reached Delhi and uh, it's on the way to us. The call is coming to the student. It's a, just a clarification. Sir. The call is coming to the student and saying you have to leave India next two days. Yeah. Uh, student has been waiting for the last one month for the visa. Yes. Right now. He has he is yet to get his visa in his hand. It's in the transit right now. It might reach tomorrow or day after. Yeah. Point is that there are two people going from the same family, and both of them are applying to the same university in Cyprus. Yes. Both of them. Yes. One fellow has got the visa yesterday. The other guy, I think today, tomorrow they're saying. Uh, uh, the suggestion is that sir, the family, you know, they are interested in sending both these guys together abroad. But there is an information coming. One can go right now. Other can go for January intake. Okay, uh, Dr. And, uh, Stanley, my question, in, my question will be for you first. When they got a call, didn't my team, didn't the head office team informed you uh, the situation? When you, when you, the student got a call, I know student got a call. My question is that okay. were you not in the, you were not informed about the special arrangement which we are trying to do? Why we are saying these guys to leave India ASAP? Did head office visa department came to you and informed you? No, sir. I had to call up and get the information. After the information came to the student. Okay. The student called me and said about this information. Then I had to call up the visa department and ask this. Yeah. So uh, the visa exactly. department has not informed you, then Mr. Stanley, that uh, that they, we have a situation here, and for that situation, this is the action I really want from the student side. They never informed you anything. They haven't informed me yesterday, sir. Okay. Because yesterday um, they have called the student. Uh, maybe in a few minutes' time, I'd call them up after the student had uh, given me the information. When the call had come directly to the student. Okay. Uh, after I called up the visa, office, visa department immediately. Uh, in case, uh, just notice any. In case anybody has a technical problem, I'm so sorry, I can't help you. You have to call the office switchboard landline, and call. You can call 111 extension to Miss Arvinder Kaur and sort your problem technically. I'm actually doing the session, and I will be not be able to do your technical problems. So, Dr. Um, Stanley, uh, uh, the problem is that uh, we have an issue. The issue is that Cyprus, Northern Cyprus, the government has announced. All the universities cannot accept a student on 1st of November. Okay, so student cannot enter the border. Okay, for the education for the uh, this intake. Now um, the problem is they have to be in the university anyhow by 30th. That's the last day to go. Now if I so situation is that visa has been approved. It took some time extra. There was a delay from the embassy side. But my challenge is that if the student do not reach the 30th in the university, he will not go to North Cyprus. He will, he might, he will, we, are, we will get him into North Cyprus, but he will not be able to start the program. Okay, sir. 
I but need, can this uh, I need kids to understand if they want to start the program now then they have to go now and now means now if this now is more so difficult for them I cannot I mean see I'm pushing my team they're pushing students okay. the only mistake my team did was they were supposed to tell you the same thing and you they could have used you as a local support you know but they didn't do it so that's something you know i'm sure the uh, this this is a recording going on and we are the the brand support manager will ask the visa head to actually listen to this conversation later on that it should be that you should be involved and you should be briefed down that how important this is i'm sure um, you understand your student want to go in this intake or next intake the point is that they both of them want to go together they want to go even if there is a little later there's not a problem for them one thing is very clear whenever whenever one thing is very clear when the team calls up make sure such kind of communication is taken with the topmost priority right this because i'll tell you what has happened normally in digital business what happen is some now this kids the kid cannot land in northern cyprus uh, on 31st morning with the semester this semester and he cannot start the semester we will make them land in 30, 31st to 10th of november but all of them have got a free semester the meaning of the free semester is that you are able to come to the country you stay there but you do not study you start the study in january but you go before this is the meaning of free semester so anybody who cannot take the passport and cannot take a flight and to on 30th morning cannot reach north cyprus there is no discussion happening there is nothing i can do for you the only thing is that these people, it doesn't matter your visa has come or not doesn't matter visa is in transit or head office sorry and when i start picking up the cases by cases every case going to be individual so my suggestion is you uh, after immediately you can talk all the visa department check where is your second student because as uh, if your second student passport has been dispatched from new delhi okay fine you can get it but if it's in mumbai in the embassy it will not happen it will never happen ask the visa manager to brief you completely on the uh, information right and uh, um, uh, in case you don't get a, a full information you can call me back and uh, you know uh, call uh, or you call arpita and she'll help you out so visa manager will uh, check out you know whether they your two passports can land i don't know you are saying that your passport is in transit check it out whether it's really in transit from new delhi to uh, trichy or mumbai to new delhi and when it going to reach new delhi when it going to be sending up uh, you know and this is how it has to be tracked down there is a but if your student wants to go together i don't care about all that what i know is you cannot land with the visa in north cyprus for october intake on 1st of november for umk university you have to be 30th in the university if not we will get you a new letter you will fly down with a free semester and two months you will do just sightseeing just go enjoy whatever but you will not study you will study in january intake i hope my i'm very clear but they, now but uh, if they're going for a free semester can they get involved in any part time work after landing there the uh, that is the uh, the question is that um, they have to register themselves they have to get the visa extension i'm pretty sure yes um uh, arpita can you ask the visa manager to actually check with the university when the student come there with a the free semester uh, can they uh, will they get the resident permit right away or they have to wait till january and then you can come back to all of us in the information email id so that everybody get to know this answer that the people going in the free semester can they actually get the resident permit i am pretty sure they will get because you cannot uh, bring a, a national a, a citizen from another country and keep him on a hold for two months not registering him it's impossible i'm sure they, they they have to register yeah i'm pretty sure just for check out uh, it's just that their free semester going to be working uh, free the semester is freeze down it has nothing to do with the visa because for a national security concern you, we have to have the uh, 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 for the, the student has to be registered and register means what get in the visa converted right she will come back to she will talk to the university and she will come back to you so one more question sir with regard to cyprus yeah please so the currency that is paid there in the country yes. they do a part time job is yeah. it lira or euro it's lira, lira sir euro. local currency is turkish lira okay it gets uh, uh, 
paid in lira only, no? Yes, please. Thirteen hundred lira is the minimum salary you can pay someone. That's the minimum. Normally, student make two thousand lira is approximately. Thousand lira. Okay. Two thousand. So ask your students that to take any job they get uh, in North Cyprus immediately. What they get doesn't matter. It's a low or high paid, and so that they don't have uh, because the, the normal issue comes in when the student refuses the jobs, which is a small jobs, you know, small paying jobs. So ask them to take anything which comes in for uh, for a start. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. Yeah, right now I'm audible, sir. Yes. So that's all, sir. That's all. Any other question? Any student you have who you can't find the option for? Right now, no, sir. Okay. The um, so if you see, there's a new offer which I have sent yesterday on Northern Cyprus. Please kindly update to your counselors as well. You know about that offer um, about the uh, students' um, uh, incentive part. And if you, if they have any questions, they can come back to Arpita on the questions if they have any issues. Fine. Thank you. Sir. Fine. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. You too. Let me go and uh, now unmute the Hyderabad branch. And so we have Ratan there. We have Rajesh. Hi, Mr. Rajesh. How are you? I'm good, Devendra. How are you? I'm good. Dear. I'm good. So tell me, how can I help you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We have a query actually. Uh, student, uh, he got a visa. For Latvia, he went to Turiba University last year. Yeah. For vacation purpose, he came to India. Yep. Okay, but uh, due to some uh, personal reasons, uh, he has overstayed in India. But his visa means temporary resident permit has expired. So you are saying the student is in India right now, yeah. and he doesn't have a temporary yeah. resident permit. Yes. So I mean, how is it possible? So he came for a vacation. Without before uh, coming for vacation, is he can't? Didn't he see that his visa is expiring? He need to re renew it. Yeah, he know that, but uh, uh, some he, his mother health condition is not good. So due to that reason, he stayed uh, almost for 10 days overstay in India. He contacted university, and university says that uh, our official partners or Indo-European help you. Then contact. So you are saying the guy is in India. Is he is he an active student? Is he a passive student? A student. So he is studying in Turiba University. Last year he went there. When did he came back? When yeah. did he came to India? Uh, he came to in India in August. He came to India in August, and he has how much of resident permit when he came? Mm, he is resident permit till uh, August ending only. So when he was coming, he has August ending. What was he thinking? Yeah. I mean, he was supposed to come. Why? Why did he came? He came for vacation. You said, right? Yes. Ah, yes. uh, come on, yar. This is this doesn't sound good. You are visa gonna. I am my visa gonna be expiring in 30th of August. 15th of August, I want to go to India for a vacation. I mean, come on. It's not impossible. Yeah, I will. I will renew my visa It's first. Not... I don't. I don't think so. And. Um, Do one thing. You do a good investigation. Yeah. Talk to your student. Okay. If everything is genuine. Okay. Contact the visa head. Okay. Um, he will talk to the university. Uh, we will get a real okay. story from the university. But I will do not want to get a real story from the university until and unless this guy is actually. So you ask him what does he want. So he wants to go now again and start his education. Did, did, uh, you want to say that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you ask the. We uh, want to continue the second year. Okay. Uh, so he, you ask the visa head. To talk to the university, whether he was an active student or not, who knows that he, this guy was an non-active student. He might be just yes. working in the Europe somewhere in black, in black market, and uh, okay. just came up and say, "Hey guys, help me up. I want to go again. My mum is uh, this, 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 you know, all these cheaters. Uh, I know, know I, this whole thing. Very few cases are genuine cases. Okay. If the case is genuine, okay. we will definitely help. There is no discussion upon okay. that. So if your case is genuine, just okay. talk to the visa head and." Uh, uh understand the case and uh, then we take it from there okay yeah fine and uh, one more query uh, one student he got uh, 47% he has completed general bcom yeah now he is willing to go for shenzhen area with low tuition fee student have a uh, correspondence bcom no no general bcom it's a regular there is nothing called general 47%. bcom okay 47% bcom then yeah 
Can you just hold for a second? Just a minute. Sunil ko bolo, mein number email kara hua hai. Sunil ko hota tar ko. Lekin bache ko koi thwa nahi raha wahan se. Bichara wahan pe elevator sada raha baithe. Koi se phone nahi kar raha hai se. Iski phone mujhe aa rahe hain. Number bhejo ko mil pe. Yes, please. So, forty-seven uh, percent become general. Uh, of course, become general always. Uh, which university? Osmania University. Osmania University. And you want Schengen country? Okay. Uh, can you speak English? Yes, he can. Can you give IELTS? IELTS? No, actually, he is he is willing to go to without IELTS. Go give, give him France. France. Oh, uh, France means it's not low paid. Uh, I think it's really expensive. Sorry. It's not low paid, right? It's expensive. Uh, low paid, uh, you will get distance learning. What's the age of the student? It student age will be like uh, 27. 27 become 47. Latvia 47 not possible. Uh, uh, then we have. Uh, uh, then we have Lithuania, not possible. 47. Estonia, not possible. How much? How much you want? He want? Uh, let's put the, this way. We can try for Czech Republic private university. Six thousand euros will be okay. Six thousand euros per year. Yeah. Oh, six thousand. Uh, actually, uh, uh, he looks into the VMU, Vaikata uh, Magnus University. Actually, as per our previous mailers, the 47% also acceptable in this university. Three-year education is not acceptable huh? in Lithuania. That's the problem. Uh, he can go for any like uh, preparatory course, like, like foundation program or something. Rajesh, he can go. He's so desperate to go. Mm -hmm. I know. But then... Visa officer is also desperate to put a stamp on his passport. Okay. My calculation is not the visa mission only. My calculation is visa also. So the, uh, the main thing is, uh, let me see. I'm just looking at this. Thing for a second. Abolo. Jaise marji kar, jaise marji kar le. Yeah, me me mera samna chal raha hai online me karta hoon. Theek hai. As if. Hello. Yeah, hello. Uh, so basically, you can actually uh, look for the you can look for the courses in uh, if you want a cheap course, I can give you cheap course mm. only in uh, Czech Republic in five six thousand euros. 27 year old student now we can try the student uh, we can if he doesn't want to go uh, there also what I can do is I can give you uh, we can give him bachelor program also okay bachelor bachelor 27 years is it uh, again it will be it won't be a problem yes it might be problem. it might be of course it will be mm. there is a possibility Actually, this is a one plus one student. This goes along with uh, his friend also. The same um, student friend has a good percentage, but the thing is, both want to go together. Not sure. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Then I, I will, I will, uh, I will say this way that. Uh, Uh, I will say this way the best way will be that uh, we can put him in the bachelor program or, or take the or take okay. the or take the master program in Czech Republic I, there are a lot of un private universities we can be we can give you in Czech Republic okay uh, master program means uh, in which country Latvia. If he has a 50% marks, he can go to Latvia. 
Um, bachelor, of course, he has 50 percent marks. Yeah, so then you give him bio Latvia. But recently, as per my experience, we have sent three applications to uh, um, Latvia bachelor program only for RTU student uh, got the um, visa, and but uh, Rajagna University student got the RT rejection. The reason uh, not yet received. And one more student, uh, Douglas University. The decision is that uh, Douglas University. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. you should not come to a conclusion. Now my suggestion to you is that track out that uh, the reason for that uh, rejecting university. Didn't you have the reason? Mm -hmm. No, no, not it. Why? Uh, what did you ask the visa head? What did he said? I mean, like he said, like a reason. Um, they did not receive the. Proper information from the university. From the don't university. Lose, don't, 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 did he did he said that uh, yeah. he has no information? Yeah, get uh, yes. When this kind of thing happen, that they don't give you a reason. Do let me know. They are supposed to send you the okay. information. He's supposed to call the university okay. and get the information. Otherwise, uh, why? What are we doing in head office? So my suggestion to you is that if you get this kind of thing, ask him to say that this thing in an email, and then. You throw that email to me also, and Mr. Hota as well, you know, and uh, Arpita, so we can actually track out why the, why he is not giving the reason. He has to get the reason out, okay. right? Okay. But uh, so this is the whole point of having the session that you know when you see these kind of things, please let, let us know that you know our managers are not giving you the reasons. You know, where technically if there's a visa refusal, there is a reason. If there's a reason, you are supposed to know it. If you know it, then you will not do that mistake again. You know, because otherwise, why did the student get the visa? Okay. And the student can speak English, good English. Yes, he is very good in English. Then uh, why? That's a question. Why? Yeah, there's right. the reason actually. I mean, we could have done the appeal system. Right? But the problem is, if you don't tell me about the visa manager, you know, he's not giving you support. I will not never get to know that. So next okay. time when you see anything like that, admission manager, visa manager, they don't do anything. You know, you just uh, uh, there's no uh, reply from them. So we, uh, we need to know. So we uh, otherwise. Uh, Sending, selling this thing, uh, telling this thing to me in this session doesn't make me any help. So if you send me an email mm -hmm. saying that visa manager is not giving me the reply back, you know that. Uh, so we'll go and ask them what is the reason. Okay. Right. So you. And uh, I, I tell you what. Yeah. This. Converting a resident yeah, yeah. permit, getting resident permit refusal is a very, very rare thing in Latvia. Number one, and okay. there is a law that I can challenge. I can challenge resident permit decision. And this is a possibility. The only thing resident permit get refused majorly is when the visa officer says that the guy can't speak English. That is why I asked you the question: Can does the student student speak no, in English? No. So so very good, good, and then it is a uh, big disaster. And I don't want to leave this. So no. I want to I want to I want to investigate it. So that why did my I lose the business? I lose the business. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah, and uh, another student, uh, this uh, uh, Douglas University bachelor's case. Um, as I know of now, that, that, case, that case I'm involved. Yeah. Uh, the problem is that the university head doesn't know how to work. So, okay. So my challenge now yeah. is she doesn't know how to work, how to bring international to the country. I have asked the Riga Tech University head to come into the picture and train her how to do a visa for a student. I mean, it sounds like stupid. Okay. But she is the big one of the big stupids we are dealing with, the biggest stupids. So she, I am telling yeah. her how to work in Latvia, but she can't understand that also. And now engaging another university. So imagine you have an ex-consultant, they come and they work for you. <laughs> so mm -hmm. how how stupid the person can be? Imagine, right? Yeah. So, okay, my challenge part is that: is it possible? Can I change the student university? Is it possible? The problem is student. Uh, why student is very particular in Douglas University is tuition fee is very less. No, tuition fee is less, but my problem is that the, okay, keep keep fighting. Media this and problem. I'm telling you, I told this thing to my to my managers also. Tell hmm. the Hyderabad office, you know, to um, actually convert them. I don't know if somebody has told uh, somebody talked to you or not on this thing. Yeah, I think yesterday Sunil has uh, given the information to student father. The same thing, I think, actually. The student, do it. Another university. Do it, uh, yeah. If you don't, if you, uh, I am trying. I'm trying, but then this lady is my pain. She is such a dumb that you can't. I can't do anything yeah. about it. I mean, imagine I asked another university to actually. Uh, so Arpita is actually writing. The student is not ready. So. 
the only chance I have is that I'm asking RTU. Sunil has been following. I, every day he's following with RTU. And even now I can tell you, uh, if you see, uh, uh, there, there, was a, there was a discussion going on between Sunil and the RTU. And I can see just now Sunil ping the RTU that please tell me how can you help me. And they said, no, it's too early to call anyone now. I will be in touch. So he, he is after the life and uh, uh, just keep uh, you know asking him the update on da daily basis so there's a push from your side also you know and the team actually give the delivery as well so they don't leave the uh, because what uh, it's a message to everyone you know if you have something just keep a strong follow up with the head office team as well and try to see you know whether they give come back to you also uh, with the right information because otherwise you know sometimes the things what happen is that people just uh, things are just too much, you know, uh, delayed. So as long as the action is happening up, things are working up, it's all fine. So I can see the right now. You, when you uh, talk about the student, I can see everything is going for fine. We are trying our best, but my my problem is that this university can't work. She don't know how to work. So I don't give okay. up that easily, but I am going to give up very soon on this one. Right, so in uh, future, uh, can we, can we students? The, uh, Arpita, can you please uh, inform the uh, uh, research team to take off the dog office university from the search engine and also from the list of the programs we send? We will not work with dog office university because uh, it's no point. You know, I mean, uh, it's just too much for us. You know, so uh, this is this is the kind of a, you know. Uh, I can give you a feedback that you know, as an agency, you know, of course, uh, these small universities who be, want to become big, they don't have people, they don't have quality manpower to work, they don't have knowledge. So uh, we can't do anything, just anything, you know, you just have to say it was a bad experience and close the case. You know, there's not okay. much, there's not much. Uh, yeah. So we will, we will, uh, we have asked RTU and uh, Sunil will ask them today also, you know. And please keep a follow-up, strong follow-up for next couple of hours for the student, and just come to the conclusion. Otherwise, just close the case because uh, yes. something has to be done. Yes, and uh, as per yesterday's Northern Cyprus mailer, uh, yeah. we found that uh, student applicant and spouse can travel together. Yes. Is it possible? To it North is North absolutely North. possible. I get a lot of people coming to me asking the same thing. And uh, there are people who have traveled and there are students you know, who went to Northern Cyprus with their spouses on the same day, same flight. Okay. And if you want that, uh, no problem. We will be arranging the visa as well. We will be asking the university to write a small letter that saying that the spouse is also coming up with the applicant. Uh, all the paperwork we'll be doing ourselves. You just have to confirm us. We of course going to charge the spouse as well. Uh, the charges for spouse are going to be uh, 45,000 per service tax for the Northern Cyprus, which means that spouses uh, will do the complete spouse visa. When we pay complete spouse visa, it means that not only getting the visa from the embassy here, but also making sure that they get the conversion there also, right? So we will help them in the resident mm -hmm. files also. And uh, the total charge is going to be 45 plus service tax. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Our students, our spouses cannot work until they have a uh, job offer. Once they have a job offer, there is a certain protocol they have to follow in North Cyprus and they can work. I'm not saying. Please mark my words. Spouse in North Cyprus can work provided they get a job. Plus, they once they get a job offer, they have to do certain documentation work with the immigration uh, people and they can work. There is no problem. But do not uh, say that you can go and you can work straight away. No. You want to work, you can work. Okay. You're allowed to work as long as you have a job offer. Okay. Of course, and one more it's, it's a but obvious thing also, you know, I mean, until you have a job offer, how will you work? So you just can't go tomorrow morning to the restaurant and say, hey, I want to work and they will put you on the work. No, you have to have a job offer and then you can convert it a uh, resident permit into a work permit. Yes, please. Yeah. Another question. Uh, student uh, has completed master's in computer application MCA in 2010. Mm -hmm. Now he's willing to go for he um, go for Spanish course in Spain, only language course. Is it possible? I can get you a Spanish language letter, no problem. I can't get you the visa because visa will be Spanish embassy. Any which ways is a very tough embassy. 
asking them we want if you want to do a spanish course they will say there is an institute called is an institute of sarvento in new delhi come to new delhi do your mm -hmm. spanish course first do your uh, good 50% course here maybe after that you can go for the non language course no problem so they know every day they deal with these kind of people who want, who somehow say i am a mca guy i want to do spanish wow then why don't you go to new delhi mm -hmm. and do your spanish course first there right this is the uh, this is the basic profile of a illegal immigrant okay mm. because if a kid is 18 years old did his uh, spanish in class 12th and he come and say i want to do spanish language i will say absolutely fine the kid is young mca guy if he so the adamant to do spanish why don't he study I mean, I mean, spanish first in hyderabad why will he put uh, so much of money to go to spain to learn spanish yeah yeah right so i understand yeah. you everybody has a choice they can make it but choice and with the um, immigration risk is a different thing so uh, if you ask me those kids who have never traveled abroad but their parents have very good influential parents you know they very fit families they get the visas you know the, the schengen visa one time without interview also but same same kid same age but doesn't have a proper you know what i'm trying to explain i'm trying to explain the positive profiling and negative profiling so if you the positive profiling uh, mca guy if he wants to go for language course he can go provided he actually have some knowledge of the spanish here itself and then he can apply okay so um, if you if he if he still adamant no problem we can get him the admission as we said it's not refundable amount 20 plus 45 he can pay, you can pay he can pay 20000 rupees now and rest he can pay later on because the visa will anyway which never come so company will not risk the the service fee so if you are you ask him that yeah. we'll get you then okay no problem try to explain him go for a main program in somewhere else and then okay if i bring him now it's a very good case you have discussed today so let's say this way if he want to go for spanish i can actually send him for spanish but my way of sending will be different so what i'm going to do is uh, let's do some research on this one so if somebody says i want to do french i want to do german no problem they can do it but the visa will not be issued from here so i will do my uh, some kind of a modulation now what is my modulation i will send him to riga tech university to do a mc masters program uh, for 1.2 uh, lakh rupees tuition fee course he land there and when he land there before he go from here i will give him a spanish language course starting from third month from the landing of the riga so riga he starts in january from march end he can start a language course in spain now your question will be that why are we sending him to latvia so my argument will be getting a visa for latvia will be very easy for him he got a schengen visa he got a resident permit once he get a resident permit then he will be able to easily go to spain so he'll once once he get a resident permit of latvia he is fine within the first uh, within the uh, second month he'll go to the spanish embassy in riga he'll tell them this is my admission letter this is my tuition fee payment which i have done and this is my visa for latvia i kindly please issue me the visa for spain and they will issue the visa the challenge is the question part is the most important part here is that uh, they will issue because the student will have um, uh, the student is already having a uh, what do you say schengen visa so the visa officer in the spanish embassy riga latvia will say this guy can run to spain even today if he wants to run but he came to my embassy paying the tuition fee and asking me a spanish visa resident permit so he will give him the resident permit so immigration risk is completely gone out here because i have i have a schengen visa already resident permit for one year if i want to run away in schengen country i can run with the latvia also i don't have to go to the schengen embassy i hope you got my point yeah but if i go to spanish embassy okay. they'll give me the visa so end of the story your student get a visa for spanish language course the only problem is he has to pay extra for the uh, uh, latvia tuition fee this is a 100% tested model if anybody want to test this model i can tell you that i never had a misfire in this model so if somebody wants to go somewhere and 
and nobody has to run away you can always convert your visas easily just don't run away talk to us and we'll help you okay so next question please yeah I mean, it's like recently UMK has given the deadline for 30th of October, right? Yes. Okay. This is only for UMK or total Northern Cyprus total is Northern 30th Cyprus. of October? Um, see, all the students going to GIU University, they will get a free semester letter. Anybody landing in the Northern Cyprus island on 31st or later for GIU University, they will have a letter for free semester. Free semester, I just told that you will be going to Northern Cyprus now, but you, can, you can't study now. Your study will start only in January. It's kind of a benefit for student. So go to country two months, enjoy, relax, climatize, friends, uh, accommodation arrangements, and then start your education in January. This is how I will do my education if I go abroad. A, a, a good student will always do that way, you know. But because they are always mm -hmm. late, you know, so they that's a bit a big problem. So if I want to study my, my course in US, I will go to US for two months in advance. I will stay there. I will uh, check my accommodation properly, my friend circle, my social circle, my university, my books, my professors, timetables, you know, and of course, climatization as well. And then after two months, I'll be absolutely a localite to study. Okay. One student, I actually, he got the offer letter from UMK. Uh, right now, he want to pay the tuition fee. Okay, so can he go before January? Come again, come again. Student got the offer letter from UMK. Yep. Now he want to pay the tuition fee. Yeah. Okay. Of course, uh, it's not possible to go for this intake. No, but, we will, we will, uh, send, him, we will send him. We will send him. For UMK also, we are trying to get the free semester letter. 99.9. .9. Everybody going to Gurney American University, anybody who has made the application, anybody who, who is want to go now also, we can send them to GAU University even now till 10th of November. But they will have a free semester letter in their hand. Right? So please tell your students mm -hmm. that you will be going now, but you will be getting you'll be starting starting your education in January. So same for UMK. Anybody who wants to pay now, please pay now and take the visa and go to UMK now and uh, uh, no issues. And you can start your so January students can go now also. That is in simple words. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fine. So we are putting okay. the so uh, anybody who want to go to January, we are putting the visas now, and they can actually go uh, to uh, now itself. So kindly, all of you can pick up your students for January intake, and you can send them in November itself uh, to North Cyprus, and they can start their education in January. It's an absolutely confirmed information. Anybody can use it. Okay, fine. Yeah, thank you, thank you, dear. Oh, these okay. are my questions. Thank you, dear. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Take care. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye. So that was Sajesh from Hyderabad, and then we move towards uh, Trishu branch is absent today, and then we have Pune. So let's go to Pune now. Oh, let's finish the Chennai first. Uh, from Chennai, uh, I'm going to unmute Malti and hi Malti. Hi. I'm good, thank you. I'm good, thank you. Uh, I have your voice is quite low. Can you speak something? No. Uh, I have a student, RT student, you know, uh, he completed the uh, second year. Last two, two months back, he came uh, to India. Malti, I have, I have a very uh, difficulty in understanding you. Okay, can you just name someone else in your office where uh, who is here so I can unmute them as well? Uh, are you are you on the are you on the are you on the conference room? No, no. Uh, I was okay. a Just give me one more name so I can unmute people. I can't hear you at all. Can I unmute Prasanna Priya? 
give me one name in your office and I can unmute the person. Okay, I've unmuted Hello. the Prasanna Priya now and I'm going to mute you, Alti. So all the questions can be... Hello. Yeah, Prasanna, you can speak. Uh, yes, sir. Questions? I'm Alti here, sir. I'm using Prasanna system. Okay, tell me, please. Yeah, I'm a hardcase student. I okay, okay, okay I think... Uh, just a second. I'm going to I'm going to skip the Chennai branch. I'm going to come back to you the last one. Um, meanwhile, uh, somebody's calling you from Delhi to help your equipment. Huh? Just a second. Equipment ready. Karwa. Karte kyun use nahi karte? Tak kar nahi kya? Okay, I'm going to jump to Pune branch right away. Uh, we have Mrs. Swami. Hi, Swami ji. How are you? Swami ji, can you hear me? Swamiji is offline now, so we have somebody else there. We have... No, we don't have anybody else. Swamiji, can you hear me? I think uh, uh, I can't hear Mr. Swami, so we need to switch to another branch and then we come back to you mr swami and uh, meanwhile i'm sure you'll be able to hello hello hi swamiji how are you very fine sir today we are having not any questions all right sir very good <laughs> so <laughs> i've i've see for last four weeks i tried to manage the session huh? so i'm not that bad these days i'm trying to get better <laughs> so probably I'll, you guess that we will not be having any questions today no i i have actually uh, now the season is starting for the next year so i'm actually you know, you know traveling now i'll be going for the um, the offices as well i'll be more involved because i'm i'm bringing my own more I'm bringing more people in my own team, you know, which can take care of my load. I can I can spend more time with you guys, you know. I actually want to do this session not twice in a week, so I um, I will be probably. This is really very good session, sir. And uh, see, uh, though I do not have any questions, मेरे को वो जो list of countries जो हैं, उसमें कुछ एक countries के अभी list नहीं, उसमें included नहीं है. So we require that updated list of our partner universities. And USA के package में और Canada के packages में ना कुछ clarity थोड़ी सी clear नहीं है about the partner and non-partner university. How much do we have to charge? Probably you know this is not the question. To be asked in this forum, that uh, you know. No, I I really, yeah, I really, I really uh, appreciate. I really appreciate. Uh, you know, this is a. I really what you know the. Uh, of course, so we were you know uh, there were certain little few delays you know in a lot of things uh, from our side. The uh, I will be very easily you know accepting that because because we have now expanding our team. So I will introduce. You, uh, there's a person named Shikha Seth basically you know who has joined my team now who is taking care of the university yeah. contracting. So she is her her main job is to have new partnership in with the uh, Indo-European universities. Uh, she has just joined us like few days back, like four to five days back. So I think uh, very soon um, uh, she's actually uh, right now bundling all the you know cons uh, documentation work, the partnership list, and everything. I am sure in next 10 days time we'll be able to give you all this thing you know which we are pending for a lot of like commission list. And all of the things, uh, but just give us like 10 more days because she has um, taken all the data from me, and now she's compiling the things, you know. And one by one, uh, she'll give you. In case any one of you have students for any university in the world where you think that you get the students, send an email directly to her saying that I can send a student to this university. We can recruit for them for sure. Please uh, initiate. Uh, we would like to have this as a partner university. So she will evaluate the same thing with the broad support manager. And if uh, it seems like the university, so let's suppose say you're doing some browsing and you found a university in Fiji, and you think that this particular university is good program and a cheaper program, and you think that we will be able to give student for this particular student university. Please send the university to us. Of course, knowing the fact, if you give us a university from Germany. Which is a state university, we will say no. German university will not do an agent contract. So this is what she will send you in. But if you give a university from France, 
you know of course she will uh, start the initiate the contract with the university and, and we will try to get the contract with the university directly so this is how this in this office going to work this international office uh, going to work it's going to it's uh, called an international communication office and um, uh, your listing part you know i'm sure will give you very soon now kya naam kya bataya sir aapne inka her name is shikha seth and her email id is partner at indoeuropean.in uh i will be asking her she will be uh, because she is right now compiling everything so she has not been introduced to the entire in india uh, offices but soon uh, and she works in my office and she'll be taking care of the only partnerships with the university so anybody are listening out there if you need some university if while browsing you see something and you think that uh, our company can do uh, students uh, for that particular university send an email to her with the website at this particular university we can do and i'm sure she is the one who will uh, initiate the contract with the university uh, most of the time we will be able to make a contract even if not she will come back to you and inform you you know if uh, it's not possible then why and if it's possible then how you know right sir और वन मोर थिंग इज दैट ये पॉलिटेक्निक और डी मिलानो जो है yeah. इसका सर कोई भी वॉट एवर इज अवर लेटेस्ट अपडेट ऑन द ब्रोशर और वॉट एवर इज द इन्फॉर्मेशन इफ यू कैन गेट इट बिकॉज देर इज सम कंफ्यूजन फ्रॉम आवर साइड एक कोई 2013 का ब्रोशर है आपको लास्ट कॉल में भी मैंने बोला था कि देर इज सम कंफ्यूजन फ्रॉम आवर साइड क्लैरिटी नहीं है थोड़ी तो जो भी वॉट एवर इज द लास्ट वो बिकॉज कई स्टूडेंट की बहुत क्वेरी हो रही है अबाउट द पॉलिटेक्निक और डी मेल आई नो आई नो सो काइंड फ्रॉम लेटेस्ट ब्रोशर वॉट एवर इज द फाइनल वन सर दी Don't represent them now because Polytechnic Milano's okay. the university ki management hai, they have a problem. Mm -hmm. So every year they change their agent. For last six years they have been changed six agents. Okay. So okay. Um, the I know the person. Arpita has already taken the notes now. I I know the person uh -huh. who uh, is an international head. Let me just talk to her if we can re work. We can initiate the uh, you know, representation with the university again. um one thing we can oh. talk this will be the agenda second thing we'll check you know if not the representation part maybe we can do um uh, the you know uh, uh, application through a different channel so uh, we will come back to you i know italy politecnico milano uh, is one of the best universities in um, they are for pune by pune because a lot of people would like to apply for this one and i am sure if we okay. do some kind of an activity there a lot of students who will come in let me talk to her she's coming to india let me speak to her if it's there is a possibility to work with them you know uh, even in case of no commission you know that's a possibility so right sir uh, uh, i probably must have taken the notes by now and then uh, we come back to you in this one for sure i'll try to initiate this discussion uh, uh, i'm not i'm not sure if i can do it today i will be able to do it uh, most likely day after tomorrow okay sir fine and finally means you know why we are not having questions today is because we are not having any leads for very long time uh, so, i think the, uh, your, your google is ready but then i can't see the payments coming up so the my team is uh, always payment ready. i'll make it google i wanted your clearance so yeah. i'll uh, do it today and uh, about ht leads also we please, have uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, been filed today itself we i'm going to talk to the person we have paid them their money has been given to them so we will uh, okay. we'll, uh, speak to them as well and we'll make sure that you get the list today for sure we get it right and okay. Uh, okay yeah and then let me just make some events with you for pune um uh, you know if i'm going to mumbai as well if i can stay for pune also you know one day and we can do some kind of a session there um i can come back with you from mumbai to pune uh, i'll come back to you this one let's let's discuss boy this one also okay okay okay, okay. fine sir thank okay. you so much thanks thank a lot just uh, thank you thank you. okay we have next we have okay so we will go to chennai later on let's go to the chandigarh branch now So Chandigarh, we have Miss Ritu there. So, hi Ritu. Hello. Hey, good afternoon, sir. Afternoon, Ritu. Uh, well, we have a couple of questions regarding Denmark. Yes, please tell me. On 
I have a student uh, who has done a bachelor in physiotherapy with 60 question marks. Uh, Ritu, I, I, I will, uh, I'm sorry, I will going to interrupt you, but then I have something to tell here. Um, guys, I have got an email. Uh, it, this is a, just a case study, you know, I'm not going to say it's going to be. Uh, so what happened? We have sent one student from Chandigarh office. This uh, girl who went to, uh, to Denmark from your uh, branch, she went to the, uh, yeah, what was the name? Nisha. Yeah, she went to the international head of the ZBAT college and she said that uh, my counselor has given me so many fake information and this and that and blah, 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 blah. And now she is coming back to India. She said that uh, my counselor told me that my husband can work full time and he can uh, get a white collar job and all blah, blah things. I know normally people don't say it. So my problem is that at the moment I have an email which I have got from the, uh, the, uh, the, the guy from the university. Now his, uh, as he, and he says, she claims that your counselor had promised her accommodation upon arrival and that she didn't need to inform us on her accommodation uh, need. It would be taken care of, but no one was available upon arrival and it was impossible for us to assist. So she has made a whole story out of there. My suggestion is that now what will going to happen, we're going to investigate the issue because of course the, the team in New Delhi is involved in this case and they, they know the girl was a, uh, she was making a fairy tale, a complete story. So, but normal day, you know, if you promise things to people, kindly make sure that you're doing it on emails. So at the moment, I have an email in my inbox that I have to reply back and I'm liable to. And for that, I need an investigation. So I'm going to uh, request an investigation on this case and that will be done from the head office. And then eventually I know that Ritu has not done anything wrong because I know the girl, I know the case, I know the problem. But not every time it's going to happen. So if you are promising students something, Please don't overpromise, and if you whatever you're promising, try to put it on the email so we don't have any issues later on. I know we cannot uh, 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 eliminate the issues with the students in this business, but we can reduce them by using the written communication, right? So uh, Ritu, I'll send the email to you also. What I got from the university, just for information. But I'm, I know that it's not you who have made the mistake because this girl, I know the case is very complicated. Any which ways, yeah. Anyways, so now you can tell me, ask me about. Uh, uh, Zibat, yeah, tell me. Uh, uh, he has done BPT with 60%, and after that, he's having five years of work experience. Okay, uh, BPT, five years experience. in physiotherapy. Actually, I'm always stuck up in, you know, Denmark for all uh, nursing. BPT. I tell you, I tell you what. If the student, what is the person day student? Person is 65, Baba Free University. Okay, 65, na? If he has BPT, Give her a health science program. See, you don't need to understand the Danish universities, first of all, don't work with agents. So it has to be non-partner university, number one. Number two is uh, if you want to find a program, uh, find a program and study in Denmark.dk. That's the one university, when, one website where you can find all the programs in Denmark, but it has to be a non-partner. Okay. The uh, doesn't matter even if she and she will pay good money for that. My suggestion is that try to move the Danish master degree students to Sweden because we have partner universities and it's much easier to work with them as compared to Denmark. And we will not, uh, we can even give them discounts, you know, on the service fee also. I mean, we charge only 20 grand in, uh, in Sweden because the commission is coming from the university. If you can't convert it, because I know there are students who will say, no, ma'am, I only want to go to Denmark. Thank you so much. And for the master's program, the only option is that Pick up the application. Danish universities start the program in September only. Deadline is 15th of March. They need minimum 65 percent marks and 6.5 ILTS. And if you have that, it is possible to apply the application. But my strong suggestion is that if you apply in Denmark, always take a backup in Sweden also. <coughs> it's not about the free education. It's about the quality education. So if somebody has 65, 70 percent marks, and they're ready to pay, get 6.5 LTS. And if they make the application before 15th of March, complete application with the documentation, there's a high possibility of admission in Denmark. Right, sir. And same for B-Forma as well? 
No, there is no beer. There is no beer pharma. Beer. Pharmacy programs in Denmark, uh, you know, or at these countries are five years and uh, getting admission into B pharma course. I don't even think that you will find a course in B pharma. Whatever you find a course in study in Denmark or DK, that is what you have the option. Nothing much. Right, sir. Right. Next question, please. Um, Hello. Yes, please. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Afternoon. Uh, sir, we have one question. Yes, please. Uh, student done MCOM in 2009 with 61%. Yes. And her age is 32. MCOM 61-32. Yes. And uh, in 2009, and after that, we have experience. Okay. So, so which country has been counseling? You tell me which country. It's a very common sir, question as a, as a counselor. Is 32, sir. So, so who says that? So, so who says that? Uh, what is the problem then? Actually, sir, the uh, question is that they have a rejection uh, due to gap because he has a lot of gap. Okay. So, 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 at the moment, we have got two questions out here. Are you asking me the option or are you asking me a question that whether gap is possible or not? Uh, sir, options as well. Option I will not give you because it's a very typical case. The counselor should be knowing it. Okay. I will give the because if I give this counselor answer, you know, I mean, then uh, my question is that you know, it's it's a typical case that which I should not be answering. I'll answer the case which is something complicated. I mean, so where is the knowledge? Where is the emails? Where is the training? My branch manager is doing. I will uh, do it for today now. But uh, my question is, Ritu, the if you have the it's a simple questions, student, my, my masters, 2009. All fine. Apply for the country. There are a lot of country we have. We have uh, Latvia. We have Lithuania. We have uh, France. We have so many countries. Okay, she has written Portugal. I don't know why she has not mentioned this. Portugal. If you if you want Portugal, I will give you a university. Uh, Arpita, can you just uh, print the university in Portugal? Uh, we have a um, 8,000 euro university. Eight to 9,000 euro they charge in Portugal. This university is uh, taking the admission now and. We, uh, they don't have January intake, but we will start a foundation English uh, foundation program with the university, making sure that the student can study main program in September. So people can go now in foundation program, and then they transfer the, uh, into the main programs uh, in September. This in uh, this university name will be published by Arpita just now in uh, on the screen, and you can actually go through the university as well. Now, second thing will be. Um, or he can go to Latvia. 30, 32, no problem. Master students can go to Europe even up till 40. No problem. Who's saying no? No. Depending upon the university, sometimes they say no. But there's so many options we have. The students who are even 40, 42, they can go to Latvia. I need good English-speaking students and no problem at all. Uh, of course, if you bring a student with 28 years of age and ask me to send him for the bachelor's, of course there's a problem. Right, but if you're giving a student for 35, seven years old, who has got ma already a master's, no problem, we can do it. Thank you, sir. So we can do Latvia. Hello. Uh, we can do the Latvia uh, for this student. Yes, next please. Yes, uh, sir. My last question earlier, like my previous conversation with you, was uh, the, uh, this. Uh, Hello? Yes, yes, I'm Malta. Yes, Malta. Yes, what, what feedback is options in Malta? Malta. Malta, you want option? I'm giving you an option, Malta. I'm giving you EIE. Oh, I know, I know. Yes, I know global college and everything I know, but I don't know what after the studies, I mean, once they finish their studies, what students will do. Uh, Ritu, this question was still standing in the last meeting also, right? Last support hour, last year, last week. Didn't you got a reply back from the uh, visa head about the? Did you did you send an email to visa head asking about the uh, the uh, requirement or uh, what the student can do? You have you you didn't you didn't send it right? No. No, you should send it then. You send it to him. 
ask him a reply and and ask him to reply to all of us you know in this uh, this group uh, so everyone know that malta because i think last week also the question came up we discussed but then you didn't conduct the visa head so you conduct him get the answer and ask also in the email sending say ask him to send this question to everybody because there are around about 22 people listening to this conversation so everybody get to know what happened when you finished the course in malta do you have a job search visa if yes then how many uh, how many uh, months or how many years so this question you should ask the visa department i will not be able to uh, do anything right so guys uh, when you take the notes please uh, send them to the you know the right department head because uh, and let us let me know in my sessions you know if you get those answers because if you don't get them i will definitely go back to the heads and i will uh, this is my feedback for myself you know how my head office is working how the people departments are working but if i don't get to know so uh, you know if you don't send them and they don't reply you uh, i always get to know that we don't get emails if you get emails we work that's what i get to know so it will be easy for me to understand where is the flux next question is to yes uh, this is actually issue for actually my two students they got rejected i think from uh, six six months back acha and still they are you know waiting for the refund part now the thing is out of which two students one was planning for ulk but fees you know fees could not we could not refund the fees to uh, it to one by one so you have number one student you have two student who got re rejected rejected from the visa what? Yes. Which country? Which Sorry. university? Which country? Which university? One was France. One was France for IFAM. Yeah. And another was Cuba, uh, Latvia. Ritu, uh, when did you send the refund forms? I think more than two months. More than two months. And if I talk about the uh, France uh, one student, I think it is gone five five months, more than five months. Wow, that's the news for me. Uh, Uh, Arpita, can you in, uh, initiate an investigation? Take take the uh, Ritu. Just send the email copy, same email which you have sent to visa department about that you have sent for both the students. And from that point, Arpita will check it up with the uh, visa team that why the refund has not been co coming. And uh, definitely, we'll look into the matter right away. And I believe, uh, let's say by today evening itself, we'll try to come back or maximum tomorrow, right? So uh, if you don't get if you don't get a, a decent answer by tomorrow, just send an email to me. You know that it's still not pending. So I think I will make sure that you know the visa team will give the uh, answer why it has not been done. So this is a good thing. You know the good the good thing you discuss here. So it's a, a, a learning experience for others also that if you have such kind of information that you know that there is a person in the visa head who is not responding to you for four or five months, it's a very big problem. I mean because. Uh, the person should have taken the action by now and if the university is not taking the action then also the visa head is responsible to make sure that university refund the money because 5 months is too much it's just not acceptable okay. so these two kids were going to go to uh, umk no no only one anuj is going to umk okay he is waiting at office and uh, his visa he got the visa he didn't got the visa So he didn't. He has applied. He has done everything. Now he's waiting for the refund from the Latvia so that he can pay the second installment. Okay. Uh, okay. So what we're going to do is, uh, I will initiate his visa. For, okay, because uh, I can get him in Northern Cyprus under the free okay. semester deal. So if you give me a go, you go, you go and talk to your student. Tell him that your fees. I uh, Arpita will talk to the visa department. Go to the university. check it out if the fees is still there she will make sure the fees land in our account okay and from the on uh, the parallel line i will give you a visa for uh, northern cyprus right and i will yeah. tell the university that i have got the money in so uh, i will club both the things together so as soon as my so if you say me yes you go back to the visa head you tell him very clearly start the visa processing of the um, student in a umk university under the free semester process get me the visa meanwhile the money which has been recalled uh, for the refund he has she will check whether the money has been gone out or not if the money is still there she will make sure that we have a new refund form which is paying back to indo european account this way they will pay to us we will start your visa right away 
and once the visa is done we will use this money towards the northern cyprus in this way student will not get the money because once the student get the money he might change his mood and he might don't want to apply the umk also with you you know so it's kind of losing a client so my uh, so my suggestion to you is that just call the student ask him that if i get you the visa right now by the 10th of november uh, for umk with a free semester is he okay talk point to point if he says yes call the visa officer um, uh, visa manager and explain him the situation and uh, that this is what we have discussed and uh, the money part arpita will come back to you uh, today itself whether the money has been gone from there or not if not she will initiate the she will ask the visa head to uh, get the uh, money back to indo open account with a new refund form and this all can happen in a days time it will not take months you know it will yes. it will happen today only yeah this is good yeah, yeah. Um, always send these kind of things you know on emails to me as well as a writing so we do reviews uh, we want to do reviews of admission and visa team so we get to know you know what they are doing so if you send this kind of an email you know um, uh, to us uh, send it to me as well to mr hota and uh, arpita that the head office the department you know that there is a delay of 5 months definitely we will take the action you know we will ask the question to the visa manager why is this happening but the sad part is that i don't get this kind of you know uh, we don't get this kind of an regular updates it only comes to us in this kind of platform which is not very helpful for us because now i'm going to forget it so i'm going to finish the session i will go back to my work okay. right uh, you know peace in our account so i thought okay we will give but it always takes time you know to refund that issue part see you, uh, guys we have branch support we have we have a uh, uh, uh just for all of you for your understanding um i just want to tell you that you know uh, arpita of course going to send you the names also we are expanding our branch support team now so now we have divided india into different zones so depending upon which zone you are uh, for which your branch is uh, you have a one single point of contact right uh, so which mean the arpita was only the one person in india open head office uh, to help the branches but now we have a team of four people which include akansha which include shweta which include vinod and the arpita leading the team so uh, uh, for example the virtu for you vinod is going to be taking care you know uh, not for not for your branch let's say in in uh, for pune branch maharashtra uh, is under the category of um, it's a tradition of either akansha or uh, uh, shweta so what we are doing now is that we are trying to give more aggressive support to the branches with more people on board so uh, all of them are actually very trained they are um, uh, they have been working with us you know and they are very good in sales so they actually know how to pitch the student what road to pitch in and of course arpita going to lead them as well you know so you will be having a much more quick reply from our side uh, all the individual people will be actually writing an email to you directly uh, most likely by tomorrow where they introduce you uh, who they are and their numbers and everything and then uh probably uh, arpita will be shooting the, the mail, mail as well you know so i take the opportunity because i'm talking on this network right now so you all know that that your branches will have more aggressive people coming up of course arpita going to be there as well she'll be helping up she'll be guiding the uh, the team you know if there any uh, any problem coming in because what we want is that we want to be more aggressive with you we want to give you more support and that's not possible with the one person across india so we uh, want to make it uh, as a zone wise so each zone means that uh Uh, head office will have for for maharashtra one person in india in delhi and uh, for mr swami can only talk to the person quickly and in case they need to escalate then arpita of course is there as well so yeah ritu please uh, keep sending this kind of emails you know uh, always send it to me uh, if you have uh, uh, send it to uh, to uh, mr hota and arpita on and if you think things are still not done do send it to me uh on the second round you know that okay the visa manager is not taking any action and i will definitely you know to go back to my team and I'll ask them you know why it's happening but before it comes to on my table it's very important that it should go to mr hotas and arpita's table that you know the branches are having problem because uh, our team in delhi office is not responding on time so once they there is a delay from their side i would like to have this email in my email as box you know that okay fine still there's nothing happening but i'm sure they will they will take action they were they quite quick, quick in taking the actions next question to anything else uh one more last question actually yeah. i have seen the post uh, visa services are missing you know 
I mean, once they get the visa, then they do come to me. Okay, how you know how to book the flight, what flight it should be, currencies and all. I think there should be one person, you know, I mean, in head office who can guide them properly, revaluing tickets and all. This I have seen the same in our, you know, in our. Very city. good, Ritu. I I do agree. Just a second, Ritu. Ritu, uh, I do understand. You know, the pre-post uh, visa services are very important. And uh, so you are saying that nobody is calling your students and asking, them, uh, telling them about tickets and everything. Is that the case? Yes, this latest current week I am talking. Uh, even Harmeet and Sangeeta, I think uh, students called her up, but uh, I think she she was not aware about it proper. You know, the uh, airport once and all. Then no doubt I took from Skype. She has helped me. But still, I wanted a proper call to the students. Absolutely, so absolutely. Let me... uh, uh, let's do one thing. Uh, so you have you have your students who got the visas. I'll um, definitely go. Uh, Arpita has taken the note on that one. We're going to talk to the director of operations. You know, we we'll ask him up why it's happening, and we'll make sure immediately all the students who got the visa, at least these ones, get a full service right away and today itself, right? Rather than just uh, working on the you know the uh, future ones, and uh, definitely let us know. And he. Uh, in future, uh, when you get a visas, do a check with the student. Did they got a call back? Did they uh, got all the answers? Did they have uh, all the information about the uh, 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 the program? And they have information about the uh, colleges. They have information about the uh, where they have, they have they have to go and etc. Right. So basically, uh, what we can do is that let's just uh, understand uh, that that particular part. And then we take it from there, but we have taken the notes on that. Yeah, sure. Fine. Any other questions you have? No, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Then we have uh, uh, Delhi office. I'll do uh, the Delhi meeting uh, in personally, and then you can ask the question there because uh, for some reason I have to rush. I have a university meeting coming up, uh, an urgent meeting. Um, if I missed any branch, please email me up, and I'll be happy to give you time today in the evening. So I have to close the session now. Thank you so much for uh, everyone for uh, the session, and I'm sure uh, we, I'll be having more questions in the next week to answer up. Um, thank you for attending my session. Cheers. Bye-bye.